Hello everyone, welcome to MBA Karo. So this was today's set and uh, if you found that it was really challenging, please like the video. Uh, this set was based on pie chart. It was a sort of logical DI. It said that uh, this lady Lakshmi, she invests in five different mutual funds for three months, Chatra, Vaishak and Jest. Okay. Uh, now, in this pie chart, we are not given the total amounts uh, that she invests. So, let us assume that she invests 100x in Chatra, 100y and 100z is the total amount. Now, the condition that is given to us is that the amount invested in these funds, uh, <clears throat> uh, this thing, she noticed that this duration, the total amount invested in exactly three of the funds was equal. Okay, so uh, if we talk about these funds, let us say Earth, the total amount invested is 25x plus 29y plus 16z. In Dhan, the total amount invested is 12x plus 18y plus 23z. The total amount invested in Mudra is 20x plus 16y plus 20z. In Sampada, it is 21x plus 26y plus 11, sorry, 18z. And in width, the total amount invested is 22x plus 11y plus 23z. Right, so that is the amount invested. Now, uh, the challenge is to find out which three funds the total will be equal. So, we will obviously go by hit and trial, but let us look at things logically and try to figure out. Okay. So, let us compare earth and dhan. Okay. So, A and D, if we compare, it is 25x. It is more than double of this. 29y is significantly higher than this value. So, it appears that in earth, she might have invested much higher amount in these two months. Now, you might say that this might balance out. Uh, but let us, like, what is the first call that comes to your mind? Ki earth must be greater than dhan because it is more than double. It is more than 60%. Now, we do not know. We are not given that how much it should invest in the three months. Right? So, if she invests a very huge amount, maybe this will balance out things. But for now, let us assume that earth is greater than dhan. Okay, because it looks clearly looks very high. Okay, now if we compare Dhan and Mudra, this is high, then uh, this is offset, this is offset. So maybe uh, one part is very high, other two are higher in this case, maybe offset values. Okay, Mudra and Sampada, if we see this is almost like slightly more, it is significantly more, it is the difference is there, but uh, difficult to offset things. So, maybe Sampada is greater than Mudra. Okay. Uh, let us compare Sampada and Vith. Okay. Uh, this is higher. This is significantly higher. Right. So, Sampada looks more than Vith also. Right. Uh, now, we have seen that Sampada is something on the higher side. Uh, and let us compare like Sampada with Dhan also. Right. Because they, this is on the higher side. This is on the lower side. So, dhan, if you see this is much higher, this is much higher, maybe offset, but not significant offset. It is almost 75% higher, this is uh, almost 45% higher, this is slightly more in Z, but so it looks like Sampata is more than dhan also. Now, same activity let us do for earth also. Okay, so earth, if we see with respect to mudra, Okay, it is high, it is again very, very high, maybe some part offset, but it looks like this is greater than this. So, we saw that Sampada is greater than uh, Mudra, uh, Dhan and Vith. So, let us compare Earth also with Vith. So, Earth is better in this, much, much higher, 1129, right, very huge difference. Mm, again, this is higher, but still it, it is more than two times. So, we are assuming that, see, there is some assumption also, it is not completely correct, but uh, some logical assumption, right? So, if we see this, earth 
and sampada are on the higher side of investment right by looking at the values so for now let us assume based on this logical assumption that we did that dhan mudra and vitt are equal okay so let us uh, equate these equations if you see dhan and vitt right so if you see this this is 12x plus 18y plus 23z okay now this 23z is common in this so we will just remove this that is equal to 22x plus 11y okay so if you bring it uh, this side so this gives us 7y is equal to 10z uh, 10x or x ratio y is equal to 7 ratio 10 okay 7 ratio 10 7 10 now let us check uh, for uh, dhan and uh, dhan and mudra so we compared dhan and with let us compare dhan and mudra okay so let us put x x is equal to 700 let us just assume and y let's put 1000 right so uh, or like this is total 700 so x is 7 and 10 okay so let us just put and see that if uh, if we get something we will compare all three and verify that if these three come equal so dhan and mudra if we com uh, compare that is 12 x is 84 84 plus 180 plus 23z is equal to 7 uh, into 20 is 140 plus 160 plus 20z. Okay. So this gives us 3z is equal to, this is 300, this is 264. So 3z is equal to 36, z is equal to 12. Okay, so if we have compared this, and 20z is 240. So this total comes out as 540 and 540. And let us put in this also. And if we get equal, so that means we have figured out the three equal mutual funds. Okay? So difficult to figure out, but yes, logical assumption followed by verification that will give us the result. So 22x will be 154 and 11 into 10 is 110 plus 23 into 12 that is 276. If we add this, this comes as 34, 30 plus 110, 540. So if we are assuming these values, these three are coming to be equal. Right. So our logical assumption was correct. So these three are in the ratio 7 ratio, 10 ratio, 12. So the ratio of these three is 7 ratio, 10 ratio, 12. Now we know only the ratios. Okay. So we cannot tell the amounts, but we can answer questions based on percentages and ratios. Right. So the first question is what is the ratio of amount invested in Mudra, in Chaitra and Vaisak? Okay. So if you look at Mudra, it is 20 into 7 ratio Chaitra and Vaisak. Vaisak is 16 into 10. Two times. So 7 ratio 8 will be the answer. Second question, the amount invested in earth in GIST is approximately how much percent less or more than invested in the same fund in Chatra? Earth in GIST, right? Earth in GIST is 16Z. So 16 into 12, let us assume. So that is 192. Okay. Same fund in Chatra. Chatra is 25. 25 into 7 is 175. Right. So the difference is of 17 and it is asking that how much percent less or more. So it is 17 more. Okay, so here it is 17 more, 17 upon 175, which turns out to be roughly 10%. So the answer is 10% more. So remember, if we know only the ratios, we can answer all questions based on ratios. We can answer questions based on percentages but we cannot answer absolute value questions so that is the next question here okay so what is the difference between the total amount invested in sampada and width during the given period right so we are not given that whether it is 700 7000 7 lakh 7 crores so we cannot say that it is 34 crores 83 crores whatever we do not know whether it is 7 crore we just know the ratios right it can be 7 crores 70 crore 35 crores Okay, anything, the ratio is 7 ratio, 10 ratio, 12, we do not know the amounts. So we cannot answer the questions that involve absolute numbers. So the answer will be cannot be determined.
Okay. Now the next question is if Lakshmi invested rupees nine crores in Dhan in Vaishak, right? So quite a rich rich lady, right? Nine crores uh, in a month investment in a particular fund, right? So uh, Dhan in Vaishak. After all, she is Lakshmi, right? So she must be having a lot of money. Okay. Uh, Dhan in Vaishak. So Dhan in Vaishak that is eighteen percent, right? So it says that eighteen percent is nine crore. 18% is 9 crores. So total uh, total will be 50 crores. Okay. So now we can find the ratios. We know the ratio 7 ratio, 10 ratio, 12. So we have to find earth in chatter. So if this is 7 ratio 10, so if this is 50 crore, this will be 35 crore. And earth is 25% of it. So 35 to 25% is 1 fourth. That is 8.75 crores. Right now, always remember that whenever you have a theta question, do not answer like 8.75. Okay, because it is not mentioning that how much in crores. Right. So whenever you have any question, like if you have a so do not write 8.75. So you have to count that those many zeros and type. So 8.75 crore means crore means seven zeros. Right. So two after decimal, and we will have five more zeros. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so that is the solution and uh, that was quite a challenging DI set. Uh, I'm sure many of you uh, wouldn't have been able to crack this set. So if you really enjoyed this, the explanation and were able to understand it after watching the solution, don't forget to like this, uh, like this video and uh, every day I will be presenting new sets to you. So keep solving those sets.